7-19, and what's the rending? Hey, now that the Super Bowl matchup is set, some airlines are getting into their football eras. <laughs> United and American <laughs> Airlines have added flights between Kansas City and Las Vegas for the big game with some interesting flight numbers. Okay. Can you guess? Mm -hmm. Both Jeez. airlines added the flight numbers 1989, which is. is the name of a Taylor Swift album. United also added flight 2287, which is a nod to Taylor Swift's song 22, and Travis Kelsey's jersey number 87. <laughs> really? That is, of course, her boyfriend. Uh, United oh, really? also <laughs> added extra flights between San Francisco and Las Vegas with numbers 1995 and 1849. 1995 was the last time the 49ers won the Super Bowl, and okay, 1849 okay. is the year of the gold rush. Oh, okay. Got That's pretty interesting, too. Yeah. Okay. Some of them kind of a stretch. Yeah, huh? <laughs> just a tad. Yeah. Anyway, okay, heads up. Valentine's is just a couple of weeks away. Mm -hmm. And if you're in love, it's a great time to celebrate. But what if you're not? <laughs> oh. A New Jersey animal shelter has come up with a way for a partner to express their anger. Oh my gosh. It's offering to name a feral cat after their ex and then have the cat spayed or neutered. Oh, not cool. That's just cruel. This is not the only Valentine's Day promotion that zoos and animal shelters have tried in recent years. Take, for example, the San Antonio Zoo. They offer to name a cockroach after your ex <laughs> and feed that aforementioned roach in exchange for a donation. Feed it to an animal. Mm. So the cat is like a walking, purring voodoo doll, basically? I, I guess. <laughs> but the point is that I think you got to be able to have your ex know that that act uh, is being uh, committed uh, against uh, them. Yeah. Not a, well, I'll make it. <laughs> Karmic boomerang gonna come back, hit yes. you in the head. Yes. Guaranteed. Any, uh, we'll just, nah, we'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Right? Yeah. Just,